hospitals, don't just leave medications lying around, Steve. It'll be under lock and key. Oh, no. I'm just saying, if we get caught, then that's bad enough. But if our Perry gets dragged into this, I'd never be able to forgive myself. Yes, I understand that. So why are we even having this conversation? Because in case you've forgotten, Steve, we've stolen a whole lot of money. Yeah. Now, I wish we hadn't. So do I. But we did. And we can't get that all we spent, what we gave to Asher, so we don't really have any other option. Yeah, we do. We just fess up to Ethan. Absolutely not. Oh, why do you always get to make the decisions? Perhaps because I'm the only one around here who seems to understand the gravitas of the situation that we are in. Just to be clear, you do know what an undertaker is, yes? That's obviously not the wrestler. Right. Well, if he finds out that we've been skimming his profits, we are going to need a real funeral director. Stealing drugs from an hospital is wrong. Steve, if we don't fix this and fast, my children are going to grow up without their mother. Now, Leah and Lucas already lost their mother. Do you really want them to grow up without a father as well? No. So please, just go and get Perry's pass. Anyone home? Are you going through my bag? Lucky for my phone charger. Why would your phone charger be in my bag? I don't know. I've looked everywhere else, so... Your phone's so old, your charger won't work on my phone anyway. <laughs> well, if you come across it, just let us know. Anyway, how come you're so glammed up? Me and Jules are spending the afternoon together. Gonna go shopping, get a bit of food. Can't wait. Yeah! Hey, guys, it's Mummy! 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 Oh, I was gonna call you. Ask you if you had those two little terrors for me today. Yeah, of course. You hear that, kiddos? You are going to spend the day with Mummy. Yeah! I actually need to ask you a favour. I need the name of someone that I could offload some pharmaceuticals to. What? It's just another word for drugs. I know what pharmaceuticals are, Sienna. What I'm more concerned about is when you became a drug dealer. Um, keep your voice down. <laughs> Not a drug dealer, just... It's a one-time thing just to get me out of a bind. Who are you in trouble with? Is it Ethan? No. Who it is, is none of your business. Sienna, this is a dangerous world that you're dipping your toes into. I can look after myself. You sure about that? Positive. And do you know anyone? Yeah. <sighs> but I'm not gonna give you his number. Why not? Because, believe it or not, I still care about you. Well, that is very nice to hear. But you have a girlfriend, remember? So, are you gonna help me or not? No. Fine. I'll sort it myself. Could you please get the kids' coats? Just listen to me. So I'll see you. <laughs> What's he said? I don't know. He's not said anything yet. I've just got here. Oh. Hang on. Is this about the missing money? <laughs> no. No. We were just thinking that this weekend we should clean the nail salon. You sure? You said it was urgent. A deep clean is urgent, Ethan. So we'll be in touch with Times. OK, thank you. enough illegal drugs on the streets without us adding to the problem. Go and get that pass now. Nope. Fine. Then I'll go and break into your home and I'll get it myself. But you're gonna have a hard job. Perry's gone out for the day. And a pass is in a bag. Which is over his shoulder. You realise that we have less than 24 hours to fix this, yeah? 
as you said, we need to get that money back by Friday because that is when the books are due. So I will think of something. We well, better had. Otherwise, this time tomorrow, we are both toast. Still don't get why we're coming this way. I just thought that some fresh air might help us all to think. Why don't we just fess up to the Undertaker? I don't. No, I'll do it. But just say, hiya, we're dead sorry. Terrible idea, Steve. Even worse idea than telling Ethan, the guy that got us into this mess. Ethan might have helped us. Oh, yes, he's been very helpful so far, like when he helped us steal our van and he helped us to bury the body. Well, come on. What are you doing? If you won't get Perry's pass, then we need to find another way to get those drugs. There is no other way. I think that there might be. Just when I thought you couldn't sink any lower, you now want us to rob an ambulance? Yeah, it's awful, isn't it? I don't mean the actual ambulance, just what's inside it. Oh, well, that makes it all right, then. It's broad daylight. Would you stop being such a nervous Nelly? Nervous Nelly? We really are from different planets, aren't we? Yes, we are, Steve. But unfortunately, right now, we're in the exact same boat. Okay, this is our only option. And it will be much easier to steal it from there than in the actual hospital, won't it? This is so wrong. Correct. But it's our only way out of this mess. Where are we going to put them? No, no, no. You can't put stolen drugs in a pram with your kids. Say it louder, Steve. You can't put stolen drugs... Shh! They're not in here. They haven't been in here since forever. They're with Liberty. Although Sophie and Sebastian do love these guys, and I have to agree, they are so... Can my life get any more bizarre? Can somebody help me, please? She's walking around with dog teddies in a pram, talking to them. Where else did you think we were going to put the drugs? I don't know. Actually, I don't know anything anymore. What are you up? And what? Go and get them. Oh, no, I'm not going. You are. Why me? Because someone has to keep watching. I don't trust you to do that properly. Why? Because you're so easily distracted, Steve. Come on. Say a cute guy walks past. Are you focused on the job at hand? Or are you focused on his buns? Exactly. I suppose. What am I taking? Just as much as you can carry, OK? Fill your tracksuit. He is due a break soon. What if he's already had one? I have to wait for another ambulance. And what if another ambulance doesn't come? It's a hospital stay, of course, another one will come. Okay, it's time. 